Shalom Racha from Yerushalayim. We are continuing with our series of videos dealing with particular minhagim for specific Shabbatot. We are up to Shabbat Parashat Yitro. As we all know, Parashat Yitro is the parasha which contains the Aseret at the Berot. We read the Ten Commandments on uh, Parashat Yitro, and therefore the Hazan will sing the Nishmat and the entire Shaharit in Maqam Husseini. The reason is that there is the very well-known Pismon Datum Zima, which is found on page 334 in the Pismon book. And this uh, Pismon is sung, the tune is sung for Nakdishah. All Halabiyya, all Alapian communities throughout the world all sing the same Nakdishah on this parasha. Whenever we read the Takmena, so it will also be sung in parasha, right, Hanan. When we take the Sefer out, there's, a, there's another Pismon dealing with Matan Torah, and this is called Ahalel Ve'abiyah, it's on page 220, and we will sing that Pismon generally when we take the Sefer uh, out and we bring it to the Teva. This is the Pismon that is sung. As I mentioned in my previous videos, there's the list of unique uh, uh, Pismoni for each Shabbat uh, where it applies. It's on page 572 and 573 in the Pismonim book. The Aliyot Shishi, generally, uh, most Halabiya communities, and it's uh, reflected uh, accurately in the Tikkun Qur'in, uh, Bekat Abraham, will do the Shishi of Al Mekomo Yabo Shalom, and the Aseret de Berot will either be Samuch or Mashlim. Uh, we do differently in Ades, but most Kehillot, uh, if not all, do the uh, the Aseret uh, Berot, either Samuch or Mashlim. Our custom is always to send up the Hacham or one of the Hachamim in the Kehillah for this Aliyah. It is also our custom as well as uh, most other Sfaradim and even some Ashkenazi communities that we do not stand up for the reading of the Aseret Berot. There are Ashkenazi communities which do stand up. Our custom is not to stand up. Regarding standing up for the Hacham. I dealt with this extensively in uh, video number 141. It's not our custom to stand throughout the whole Aliyah when the Hacham goes up to the Sefer, but for more uh, information, you can go to that video, page one, uh, video number 141. It's followed by Parashat Mishpatim. Parashat Mishpatim, generally we will, we will do Makam Saba because uh, the uh, Dama Berit, which we read about at the end of the parasha, because of the Berit, we'll do Makam Saba for Mishpatim. There is an exception. During those years where parasha Mishpatim is Shabbat Shekalim, which happened to be this, this year, that's how it fell out, we will switch and we will do Makam uh, Bayat Nawa for Mishpatim, and Tiruma will then become Makam Saba. The Shishi uh, for Parashat uh, Mishpatim um, also from the and here there is uh, there is uh, pretty much uh, it's across the board. Uh, Hinan it begins Hinan of Kisholeah Malach Lefanecha and it ends with Asiroti Mahala Mekirbecha. That is the general consensus for uh, for the Aliyat Shishi in Parashat Mishpatim. Parashat Tiruma is generally a Kuzen Makam uh, Bayat. I think they, they, they have it in, in, this, in the book here. And, um, or Husseini. Again, we will keep it Husseini unless Mishpatim becomes Husseini, then Tiruma will become Makam Sabbath. Here, the uh, the Shishi is Betabnitam Asher Atamur Ebahar. There is maybe in one or two other uh, uh, very variances when it comes to Shishi, but the general consensus is Asher Atamur Ebahar. Call to.